Hey guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through how you can connect your phone sites funnel to Active Campaign for any follow up you want to do in Active Campaign. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to connect this via Zapier. Uh, now, if you wanted to, you could take an, a form that's built in Active Campaign and embed that into phone sites. But uh, if you want to use phone sites form fu functionality, then you're going to use Zapier to connect that funnel over to Active Campaign. So here's what we're going to do. So I'm in the app section of Active Campaign. You see all these apps that show up here on the screen. These are all different options that you can integrate Active Campaign with. Uh, you're going to use Zapier. You can search up here at the top for Zapier, or you can scroll down through. And then when you find uh, Zapier, you're just going to click through and then click on set this up. So I'm not going to show you that because I've already done that and I don't want to show off this person's API key. Um, all right, so let's let's go on to the next step. Um, what we're going to do now that we got Active Campaign connected to Zapier, we're going to go ahead and set this up. So let's click on Make a Zap, and we're going to look for a webhook. So it's down here. If you don't see it in this list of most commonly used options, you can just search here in this blue bar. But let's click on webhook. Click on where it says Trigger Event. Click on Catch Hook. Click on continue and then copy this custom webhook URL. Click on continue. Let's go dump this into the post webhook URL field into our funnel. And click save there. And then once that's into our phone sites funnel, then we're going to go back over here to uh, Zapier here and we're going to test the trigger. Now I need to actually submit some sample data through this new webhook. So let's go ahead and click view here in the settings tab, open this up and submit a, a test through. So this is going to be AC test one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then test at AC at phonesites.com. Okay, let's go back over here to uh, Zapier and then click on test trigger. And this is going to pull through that test data that we just submitted through. So that works. So uh, next step, click on continue. And then in the action step here, we're going to search for active campaign. And then under action event, click in here. We're going to uh, create update contact. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on continue, choose an account. I already have uh, this account set up in here, so let's click right in there and click in continue and then list. So for the list, we're going to add this one into, let's see, it was the add soda mastermind class. And then let's add in the email address from that catch hook. And then the first name, uh, let's split out that person's name. Let's go back up in here. We're going to add in an additional step here real quick. We're going to split up the name that was collected uh, in this phone size funnel. So let's see here. We're going to go into action event and select text, select continue. And then in the transform step, we're going to split this up. So search for split text. And then in the input value here, we're going to click in there and then go to the name field. So this was AC test. We just want to we want to grab that person's first name and I'm going to copy this space option right here, this little string of characters. It's a bracket and then like the two dots are semicolon, space, semicolon, and then closing bracket. We're going to paste that right into the separator field here. So basically that's going to tell Zapier to separate AC test or first name, last name by whatever uh, space is added in there. And then segment index, just go ahead and add in all as separate fields, select continue, test and review. So there we go. We got our first name, we got our last name. So now we can map that appropriately in the next step, that active campaign step. So I did that because in the setup action step where we were mapping that data, we didn't have first name split out. We just had full name and I want to use this person's first and this person's last name. And then full name, we can just use the, the full name that was captured in phone sites. 
and phone number field go back to catch hook add that in here so I'm gonna skip that skip org name password uh, all this other stuff we'll just skip all that and click into continue we don't need to fill all that out okay and then click on test and review and this should have been added in let me go check to see if this contact was added into that list so let's see here we're looking for contacts date created we'll sort here try to find there we go so AC test there is the test that I just submitted through and then if this person that has this active campaign account if they if the client has um, automation set up for whenever contacts go into a particular list then they're going to get their follow-up messages sent out one other thing this is important you gotta save this this zap and give it a name here so let's call it by uh, the client's name phone sites to active campaign all right now that we named that we've turned this on we're all good we could go ahead and submit another test through just to make sure that uh, the actual follow-up gets sent out we get it at a legit email address as opposed to the, the fake one that I just submitted through right here. Um, but otherwise, if you have any questions, let me know.